Hello everyone and welcome back to Tealstone Homestead. My name is Tiffany and if you are new here, I raise rabbits for show, breeding stock, meat, and a variety of every other different reasons. And I also raise chickens and Caternix quail. And soon I will be introducing more animals here on my homestead. That is in another video though, and I'm just really excited to share with you guys some new developments. So anyway, I'm very excited today because Ivy Tubin reached out to me again. If you are not familiar with Ivy Tubin, they create prefab uh, hutches and chicken coops and all of that. So I'm really excited that they reached out to me when they did because lately I have been struggling with space both for my rabbits and my quail. I just ordered a whole bunch more hatching eggs because I needed new bloodlines. So I ordered some hatching eggs and I don't I don't know where I'm gonna put all the quail. So this run slash coop situation that I have today to put together might be a solution for that and we're gonna talk about it. Now Ivy Tubin did not pay me to make this video. They did send me a free product um, and if you guys end up liking the product in this video or any of their products on their website by the way you can use my affiliate code in the description down below. I get a bit of a commission from that but it does not cost you guys any extra um, but I greatly appreciate it. If you do use my link I always love that. This specific run that we got. I feel like it is the most suitable run that they have for quail because if you don't know much about quail, um, they, they're not the smartest, <laughs> they're not the smartest animals out there. So when it rains, um, they're not gonna go inside. They're just kind of dumb and they'll just stand out in the rain. So, um, this specific hutch that I got, um, it does have an open run, but it has an enclosed little uh, den area, which is very nice, but for the um, the open run area, I think I'm just gonna put some plastic over it. Ideally, if you had somewhere where you could put it like inside of a building, that would probably work really well too. Um, I don't have room in my barn currently, so we're just gonna be working with plastic right now, which is totally fine and a really cheap solution for that. But quail don't really like to climb into coops either, like chickens will climb ramps and stuff to get into coops. Quail don't do that necessarily. <laughs> So this one was more flat, uh, more for a flat surface, and so I thought it would be better suited for quail, and hopefully I'm right. I think I am, but again, we have to unbox and put this thing together and see what it looks like. Another thing I thought of, if I don't love it for quail, um, I have yet another surprise coming at the end of this month, and it would be a wonderful solution for housing for a rabbit type situation. So uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what that is until the end of this month. I'll just say um, if, if I don't love it for quail, it's going to be amazing for smaller rabbits. That's all I'm going to say. I also think when I saw this, I was like, this would be a really great option for people that don't necessarily know how to build things, but want like a rabbit tractor situation. Um, because I think that it would be really, really great for that. You might have to do some reinforcing on the bottom so they don't like dig out and stuff. Um, but as long as it's on like a flat surface and you maybe reinforce it a little bit, I think that this would be a fantastic option to tractor rabbits in, especially growing rabbits. Um, so that would be another really cool thing to do. Also bantam chickens would probably fit really well in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this thing, take everything out and see uh, what all we got going on. And then we're going to put it together. So when they sent me the box, I swear it did not look this rough, but living in a tiny house, we do not have a lot of uh, space to store things like this. So it's been in the barn and the barn is not the best place to store things, so I swear the box did not look like this when it came to me. The specific model that I got is called the Air 28. Chickens have been playing on the box. Um, but it's called the Air 28. As you can see, it's got like this little den area over here and then it's got like a little open run area.
this is the hardware that it came with on one plastic bag. This is what I really like about Ivy Tube and you guys. Everything is already kind of pre-assembled and all you have to do is put the pieces together. And I don't have to worry about attaching wire to anything. I don't have to worry about any of that. And so in a pinch with a project that I'm doing right now where I just really need this to be done quickly, this is like the perfect solution to be honest with you and I'm really looking forward to putting it together as long as my chickens don't destroy it first. So I've laid out this nice flat piece of land right here. This is where it's going to go. Well, more like over here a little bit, but that's where it's gonna go. Nice flat piece of land. I just kind of raked sticks and stuff out of the way. So it's gonna hopefully be able to sit nice and level. This is where we're gonna be building it. So I'm gonna time lapse it and then if I need to slow down, I will slow down and like talk to you guys about like certain aspects of this specific run. But let's do it. Okay, so we have our quail tractor complete. Overall, it took me probably about an hour and I think it would have taken me a little less time had I not been filming at the same time. So not a lot of time invested in it. It was really easy. It came with all of the hardware pre-packaged and labeled and all I needed was my drill to put it together. First off, let's talk about the wood portions of it. So Ivy Tuvin says that their products are completely fir wood and they are coated with uh, eco-friendly water-based paint so you don't have to worry about like animals chewing on it not that you really have to worry about quail chewing on it but like rabbits will definitely chew on wood so you don't have to worry about that I don't typically worry about things coated with water-based paint anyway the main thing I worry about is is the wood treated because treated has chemicals in it and then that can be a bad thing this wood isn't treated I really love the roof on this tractor because it's coated with like an asphalt material and it slopes off the end so when it rains it's built to have the water slope off the other side not inside of the actual like grow up pin. There's several entry points on this tractor. There's one right here where it opens up from the top of the open area and then there are two side doors in the open area and then the roof also opens so you can access like the little den area when you need to collect eggs and stuff like that. I wanted to touch on the hardware because I've done an Ivy Tube interview before and you guys know that was a little bit of a qualm for me is that I didn't really love the hardware on that first thing that I reviewed. I actually think that the hardware on this, and I don't know if they did it to all of their products, but the hardware on this is like a gigantic improvement from what I first reviewed. So if that is throughout all of their products, they're definitely listening to their customers making changes. So that is a great thing. That little latch right there on like the, the area where you can access into the run, it actually feels a little bit more heavy duty now. So that's a good thing. And then the side doors on the outside of the tractor have like metal spring latches and those are they actually feel really heavy duty so I'm really impressed with that and one of the features that I love about this overall thing is the roof so when you open the roof 
it has metal braces that you can actually lock into place so when you're collecting eggs and stuff you don't have to worry about keeping the roof like open it it'll lock into place so it'll just stay like that until you're done in there like either collecting eggs or cleaning or checking on baby bunnies if you have baby bunnies in there or whatever so it's really nice that you can lock those into place and keep it open while you're doing stuff in there one of the things I really like about these prefab hutches is that the wire already is attached to all of the pieces so I don't have to cut hardware cloth because I actually really loathe cutting hardware cloth it's not fun I don't love doing it I'll do it if I have to but the fact that it already came done for me was a definite plus very happy about about that. I do have a couple of notes of damage that the run came with and that was the hardware cloth is a little messed up on one of the top corners of the run area and also one of the pieces where the divider slides into is a bit warped so it's nothing that I'm like overly concerned about but th those are a couple of notes that I did make. If you've used this run out in like an open area where you might be worried about predators I would probably go ahead and secure it down to the ground um, and maybe make like a dig proof border around it because it is a little bit light so a predator would be able to either dig or like flip it um, so those are a couple of things that I would probably recommend for sure I don't really have to worry about that in my situation because um, it's located inside of my chicken run which has a dig proof barrier on the outside of it so it's not really a point of concern for me per se but if you were gonna just put it out in the open then I would definitely secure it down somehow or make like a dig proof barrier um, just so you know your animals are safe. I almost forgot this might be something that you guys would want to know is the measurements for this hutch. So. 62 inches long, 41 inches wide, and 25 inches tall. My overall thoughts on the Air 28 from Ivy Tuvin is I actually really love it, guys. <laughs> I think that this is like the perfect solution if you either don't have time or don't really have the building skills that you would like to create like a homemade rabbit tractor or a quail tractor. I think that this is like the perfect solution for that, honestly. I think that this would be like a phenomenal little grow out tractor for rabbits, like especially if you lived in the suburbs like we just moved from perfect solution for that it's easy to move you would easily be able to put like handles on one or both sides of it and drag it around every day um, I would definitely put like a dig proof barrier on it like I said because um, rabbits do like to dig I don't really dig necessarily so you don't really have to worry about them digging out but still have to worry about predators digging in so uh, but this is this is honestly like a really really cool investment I think am I gonna keep my quail in here they've been in here for a day now and they are so so happy Happy. So um, I'm really happy that I could bring them outside finally. I think that I think that it's great. I actually want to create like a more permanent solution uh, for my situation. What this is going to turn into for me probably is like a little rabbit hutch area. And you guys are going to see that hopefully soon-ish in the next several weeks. So I'm really excited to show you what I'm going to be doing with it probably permanently. Um, it's going to go through a little bit of a transformation. But like I said, it's actually really great how it is. You don't need to modify it. Um, the only thing that I might do like right off the bat is it might rain today. So I think I'm just going to cut like a plastic square and just staple it on the top. Just so if the quail aren't smart enough to go into the den area when it rains, at least it won't be coming down on them from the top. So that's literally all I'm going to do though. Anybody can do that and it's just a really simple, cheap solution. So that's all I'm going to do to it for right now. If you guys have any questions for me regarding this specific model, I will try my best to answer them in the comments down below. And yeah, I, I just, I really like it. And so I think it would be a wise investment if you are looking to do like a rabbit tractor situation. If you guys liked this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.